Now, China has accumulated a wealth of experience in the food and agriculture sector and is willing to share it with the rest of the world. But how? Education could be one of the solutions. Throughout an initiative called Science and Technology Backyards, China Agricultural University has been setting its agricultural classrooms in the field for many, many years, encouraging students to learn through practice. And now one of these backyards, located in Handan City in northern China, is particularly special as it hosts several students in African countries. Let's take a look. My name is David. I come from Zambia. What's your prince? What's your name? I'm Xiaotong. I'm from the National Institute of Agriculture and Rural Development. I'm At the Qianya Science and Technology Backyard in Hebei's Quizhou County, students from China and Africa come together to live and farm with local villagers. Sowing the seeds of smarter agriculture and cross-cultural collaboration. My research area is in nutrient management. Uh, specifically, I'm focusing on uh, uh, nitrogen. Over the years, we know that nitrogen has the capability of increasing yield, but also it has uh, um, uh, very bad adverse effects, such as uh, polluting the environment, uh, causing uh, eutrophication or acidification. So my study area basically is in how well we manage uh, nitrogen um, among the small farmers in China. My research area is to focus on fertilizer design uh, as well as uh, fertilizer formation. I would look at what currently the farmers are doing. Even though there's uh, research and literature on that, it's not enough. So I'd rather go into the field, get some information from the farmers, take some survey, and then we'll see what is being done. Then we we'll also look at what I can do, which is what I've learned here. We'll apply it in the farmer field or we'll apply it together with the farmers and see what results that will, will bring. What motivated me to come here is first uh, uh, the Science and Technology Backyard Program and also the fact that the small farmers in China has, have got similar characteristics with those in Zambia. Despite uh, increasing yield by use of excessive a nitrogen and phosphorus fertilizer. This has also led to environmental degradation. We are designing specific fertilizer for a specific crop, for a specific yield of a crop, and for a specific soil. With this approach, we are very precise in how we use the fertilizers to produce a high yield. Yo 可以切实地走到田间地头进入生产一线，发现他们的切实需求，从而解决一些农民所面临的难题。You might be aware that uh, the scientists have developed a lot of technologies that can improve nitrogen use efficiency, but these technologies have not been adopted by the small farmers. So what the Science and Technology Backyard Program does is that, through the students and the researchers being in the farmers' fields, it bridges the gap between the scientists and the farmers. You 
，就节水一半以上，所以这个节水节水量非常大。未来中国农业肯定走上现代农业，这是必然的。但是谁来做这个事儿？没有新农人，不可能改变这一个这样一个一个事实。咱们这样一个未来的一个走势是改变不了的。现在剧烈天气，就异常天气现象、气象现象频繁发生，这些东西都逼着我们的是人类。要做快速的反应，快速反应没有新农人，你是快速反应不过来的。就从现在开始，我们要培养新农人。我觉得这是对农业的发展是这个力量发展是非常之巨大的。And now, more and more young students are dedicating themselves as new farmers to agriculture in China, driving rural revitalization with their own wisdom. 我认为自己现在是一名新农人。中国农业未来的发展一定是一个越来越好的趋势。我们作为这个农学方面相关的学生，也是会希望之后未来能够更加扎实自己的专业知识，提高专业的技能，把这些所学到的知识真正的带到农民当中去，应用到现实的农业生产当中。作为一个科学小院的一个学生的话，我觉得就是。我们那个学生应该更加注重的一个在乡村一个服务的过程，能够把自己的知识，呃，和他们农民的一些知识经验，然后结合起来，增产增效达到一定的程度。通过我们一些能力，然后将他们那个呃经济然后带动起来。目前主要在小院做一些乡村振兴的规划，通过将这个村里边那个村支馆、书院等等一系列的景点，然后串起来。然后形成一条科技街、科技长廊，以数字化模拟，把整个村庄的一个景点，还有他们那个南边一个葡萄地，进行一个 AI 模拟，将整个村庄数字化，然后可可视化，能够让在其他的地方的人能够通过网络，然后直接能够看到这个村里边的一个村容村貌，形成一个互动，然后形成一个呃整个村的一个文旅产业。And through the science and technology backyard. The agriculture story of China is not only being rewritten, but is also spreading and extending cooperation around the globe. Agriculture in in Zambia uh, has a lot to learn from from China. We can take it step by step. Some of the most uh, important technologies that Zambia has to adopt, or Africa. Is uh, the use of of irrigation, improving the adoption of soil testing and formulated fertilizer, and irrigation uh, will be a game changer for Zambia and also for for Africa. China is an economic giant, and they are leading in all all regards in terms of food, uh, in terms of the economy, in terms of production, and all the other things. And in my local palace, they say, follow Uno Road. If you are going somewhere. It is better to follow somebody who knows the road, who knows where you are going. You don't just follow blindly. You follow a person who knows there. So, if you want to learn, I mean, there's no proper place than to learn from, from the best. And that is the more reason why uh, I came to China. The partnership between China and Zambia has been great uh, since uh, the founding president. We hope that this type of uh, partnership can also attract stakeholders from China. Private companies, fertilizer companies, seed companies, irrigation companies, to come into Zambia and make win-win cooperations between the other private companies in Zambia and also the government. I would want to see a country, which is Ghana, that is food sufficient. That uh, food isn't a problem. So whatever I learn here, I'm able to contribute back into my home country. I'm also going to take the seriousness of. Uh, the Chinese are Greek, and also take it back to my home country. We are going to sit together with the supervisors and our coordinators, and we are going to comparatively look at what we have done, what we did in in China, what we did in in Africa, in my country, and then we、we'll、see how best we can improve upon what we have done.